Yes, yes, people, how are we doing out there? One love, one love, one love. I've got to be quiet because I'm just doing a test over there for the ghost box. So we've got the ghost box on the go today for the other uh, for the other channel. Obviously, we're at the point where we believe that Fred may have put Mary. So just pan around to show him, Ninja. So that's the drain of where we think she might be. Right. All those covers may be um, newer, so it might have changed a little bit since then. We don't know. Just trying to get some film. But we're just having a little chat. Just going to do a little bit of recording there, so we've just stepped away from it for a, for a minute. And um, just ready for a little smoke, people. So by all means, join me. Roll up, smoke up, choke up with me. Yes, yes. Here we go, peeps. You watch this smoke like down. <laughs> Needed that. We've walked a bloody mile and a half. Two miles to get here, haven't we? Three miles. Easy. Yeah, so that's the ghost box you can hear in the back, people. If you're interested in all that sort of thing, have a look on Most Haunted Locations UK and the Power Channel, because that's where the videos will be going up, all right? Tell you what, Ninja, this one blows my fucking head off. <laughs> My little cock pipe, innit, Ninja? Yeah. <laughs> she says every time I start fucking sucking on this, I look like I'm sucking on a dick. I don't know, people. <laughs> I don't know. Things are in Ninja's head. <laughs> it looks like a penis. <laughs> I suppose it is like a penis pipe. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Go away! Right, Ninja, are you wanting one of these? Yeah, why not? Let's have one of these out. Ah, fuck this, fill it everywhere. Ah, fuck it. Ah! Fuck it, I'll get it everywhere, Ninja. Night new. Yeah, Ninja. Thanks. I won't. I won't do a. I won't do a picture of you. I'm just going to show them um, what we're doing, people. So yeah, welcome, Justin's World. We've come out here, and uh, we've just sort of brought a few little bits and pieces with us. Do you know what I mean? It's my uh, my nice little THC made in the pool bag. Right. So I'll just show you where we are, just so you know. Um, obviously, this is the drain, um, which is where I think he may have put her. All right. I need as many people to get involved in this as possible. So if you just want to have a look where we are at the minute, we're in the middle of the field. Okay. <laughs> and up here you'll see. So I just walk up towards the path. Just bear with me a second because it's a bit up here. Okay, back on the path here now. As you can see, um, that's um, that's the power station there, right? So you've got the power station, um, and then you've obviously got the river. Okay, now, and then obviously you've got sharpness here. Now, what I think Fred West has done is he's murdered Mary, and he's either, um, he's basically drove her um, all the way here. So there's paths where you can get a car. Not so, these are more of footpaths, but where that fence is just there, there is tire tracks all the way around from where we've walked. So I think what he's done is he's, he's obviously murdered her. He's driven her all the way out here. So he's not had to lurk her body out and carry her body. And then he's got to this point here. Okay, where he's obviously, where he's buried her. All right, that's what I think. Um, there's access points literally all the way around here you can get in through the farm access over there as you can see there's entrances and there's entrances all the way over here so the fact is even if he would have driven up with her 
gone only sort of, you know what I mean, gone through one direction and there was somebody there, for example, and he couldn't go down that direction because he'd been spotted. He'd have had two or three other places to come in along this area, all right? I think he would have known this area really, really well. He was in with the farmers. He was a farmer himself, sort of type guy, wasn't he? So at the end of the day, that's what's happened. He's either driven in from there, okay, or he's driven in from there, all right? And he's brought Mary along here to this point, all right? So he's had his headlights off, he's driven along here, nobody's seen him because there's nothing around here. There's nothing around here. There's factories there, but they wouldn't have been there. You know, all of that over there by Sharp Nest, the majority of that wouldn't have been there. You know, the docks would have been a lot smaller and all those new buildings, they wouldn't have been there. This is where he's brought her, I think. This is what he's done. Let me know what you think, peeps. Are you enjoying that pipe, Ninja? She's still chuffing away. <laughs> is it good? So, I don't know what you think, peeps. It's really important for you guys to participate because I have got most, most of the people who've known me for a long time on my smoker community. Now, I don't normally want to bring this sort of thing onto my smoking channel. I want to keep my smoking channel for smoking and stuff like that, really. However, this is quite serious. This is quite a big, this is quite a big deal because obviously if I have found the area that Stephen West was talking about, okay, let me rewind it a second. Okay, Stephen West is um, obviously Fred West's son. When Fred was in prison, um, just before Fred uh, apparently committed suicide, um, Fred had a conversation with Stephen West, Stephen West being Fred's son, and Fred said to Stephen, um, basically, that um, he buried Mary in a well, behind the power station, yeah? So, and there may be other bodies there as well, okay? So we are directly behind the power station. We are in the middle of a field and there is a drain. So drainage point, drainage well, whatever you call it. They use the words well. Now, well can mean a lot of different things, can't it? It could be a drainage point, it could be a well, it could be anything really, to be fair. But I think that's what's happened. I think we've cracked it. I think we're right in the area of where this has happened. I need as many people to get involved and participate in this as they can, yeah? I've shown the other videos on the PAL channel showing exactly how to get here. So again, if you're, into, you're really interested in this case, and then go back and have a look at those videos and just participate. Let's get it involved. If we need to get the police to come and check this, again, I need help with that. Who do I speak to? What do we do? Gonna need to collect some evidence first before anyone's gonna obviously take us any seriously. So that means everyone to look at the videos and try and authenticate and I can't speak, but you know what I mean. Try and make, try and look at this and see whether it is real or can somebody debunk it. You know, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. But as the description Stephen West gave to Fred West, yeah, the description that they gave was a well in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere, behind Barclay Power Station. All right, so you tell me what you think. Okay, you might not believe when all that ghost box stuff. I don't know if I do yet, but we bought it and we're gonna have a little look to see if we can pick anything up. So, <coughs> should we have another pipe? Hmm. Ninja's having a fag. How was your pipe, Ninja? Yeah, it was good. Can I have that lighter that you keep putting back in your pocket? But, yeah, that's mine. It doesn't matter if it's yours or not. We share it, all right? Share it. So. See what I've got to put with? And she wants to get see, married to me. You've you got to be fucking kidding, didn't you? Yeah. What you what? got to put out with? She's, she's one of them, isn't she? What's mine's mine, mine and what's yours is mine. Yeah, you? you're one of them. So I'll have it all. Ain't it, Ninja? She's not very happy with me right now, so I better shut up. Because I'm out here on my own in that drain. Well, I might end up in it myself in a minute. Cheers, people.
Yeah, face now. Yeah, you'll face it, everything. <laughs> Roll up, smoke up, choke up with me. I know a lot of people think I'm crazy, you know what I mean? But I've been on this case for ages. I've been up and down all this area. I've looked everywhere. I couldn't find anything that even resembles what Stephen West was talking about until I walked around this corner and I seen that and I was like, fucking hell, that's it. <coughs> that's it. <coughs> Somebody out there, please help. Yeah, I don't know what to do from here. I'm only a little guy. I can only do so much. I can go to places, I can find, I can investigate. I'm a good detective. I'm good at all that sort of stuff, yeah? I don't know what to do from now, right? So if there's any police watching, anyone who knows anything about the situation, about the case, then come on. Get these tapes to whoever needs to look at them and let's try and get some traction on it. Cheers, peeps. Oh, it's lovely. That's better. It's like tetley, isn't it? Tetley. When I'm out here on my own, I keep imagining that I turn around and I see Fred West running towards me with like a rah, like on his face. I see it all the time, I do. It's running, running at me. A lot of you out there going, Jazz, you're smoking too much fucking weed, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you come out here on your own, right? <coughs> it is a freaky place. <coughs> it is freaky. I came over all sad. Sad? Yeah. You felt, you felt sad? Where? When you stood there? No, after I came back from there and I came back and sat here came over really all sad it gives leaves impressions though babe it does it leaves impressions on you especially if somebody's died traumatically all those impressions will be there whether you believe in spirit world or not there's still something there there's still energy left yeah there's still an energy there which is when you walk into buildings old buildings you feel that energy that's what it is it's the energy Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Mm. It's like somebody going. <sighs> Did you feel that as well? See, it ain't just me, I'm feeling it, Ninja's feeling it, and this is why I've brought Ninja up here today, because I think there's something in here. I think there's something in here myself. It's, it's a just, weird one. It's such a big open space but there's no nothing around but it feels like it yeah like someone's watching oh god like like i say you turn yeah. around and i keep getting that impression somebody's like Rah! behind me they're running easy here he's with us he's not happy he ain't happy right now i'm telling you i can sense fred i sensed him over there i did i sense him here i sense him here i did he's around and so is mary But if you look, you can see there's a gate there again. You could have come in. You could have come in from this entrance over here, not that one, because that goes into the river. But there's another entrance right there. And then there's another entrance just there as well. So I honestly, honestly believe this is what he's done. Yeah, I think this is what he's done. I'm gonna have to have another one, Ninja. Gosh, my hands ache, woman. Did you bring the tripod. You are my uh, tripod today. No, we need to bring the tripod. Well, I mean, I'll let me have a bit of a cup of tea as well, yeah. While you're oh, you are taking the mic off. Look, they want my fans want to see me drink well, tea. Then you need to bring a tripod. I have. I don't get paid for that. 
<laughs> you are my tripod. I don't get paid for that. <laughs> you don't get paid at all. I think I should though, don't you think, peeps? Well, when I get paid, eventually, if oh. I ever, ever, ever make any money out of what I'm doing now, which I don't, I ever will, <laughs> then I'll pay you. Good. Cheers, Ninja. Cheers. But for the minute, you can have 25% of nothing. Because that's how much I get. <laughs> You've got to do it for the love, Ninja. You've got to do it for the love. You know what I'm saying? Got my little plastic pot, people. It looks like a Pepsi, but it is not. It's got the weed inside. Nice. Nice. Lemony. Yeah, I've got grease all down me because uh, I spilt half of my bacon and sausage down me this morning, didn't I, Ninja? <laughs> You're right, fucking mess. This is why I don't have egg when I go out, because if I have egg in it as well, that all fucking ends up everywhere. So, oh fuck me, I've pretty much caned all this, Ninja. There's one little one left for you. Thanks. Sorry. That's okay. It's all, it's all the stress of what's going on here, you know what I'm saying? Cheers, people. Hope you're enjoying the shows at the minute. We still haven't had our CBD delivery yet, so hopefully when we get back later, it'll be there ready for us to do some reviews for you. So don't think I haven't forgotten, I haven't forgotten. I just literally, I haven't got the reviews at the minute. And I ain't going up the fucking high street and paying them prices, no fucking way. We're poor now, and we? we paid all our debts off recently. But yeah, we are. Back to normal, people. Yes, yes. Roll up, smoke up, choke up with me. You know how it goes. It's just an A to the B. Why does it always do this? Calm as fuck. Calm as fuck. And then you go to light it and you get this. <sighs> well, if you just stop talking for two seconds. I can't, Ninja. And I actually have your pipe. <laughs> then maybe it, like, would blow. <laughs> I can't, Ninja. I promise not to talk around the ghost box. And all I've done is to talk. I know. <laughs> all I gotta say is, karma. <laughs> no, it really does look like I'm sucking a dick. <laughs> Ninja, why did you say that? Suck harder. <laughs> you dirty cow. People, do you see what I got back with? <laughs> oh my god. I'm feeling nicely stoned for the walk back, so. But if anyone wants to sort of, like, say, come out to this location, have a look at it, by all means, it's well easy to find. Look back at the videos, you'll see. You can go and get the car, you can drive and pick me up. <laughs> Joke is, you probably could, couldn't you? <laughs> probably get towed off I mean, you would now, you yeah. would now, but, like, back in the 60s, there wouldn't have been anyone to towel you no. off. And like I say, on the night time, he'd have come up here, turned his headlights off, he'd have known exactly where he was going anywhere, stuck to the, the fence, and then, he, do you know what I mean? It's not hard, is it? Uh, Nobody would have seen him. Probably heard him more, because the, the noise the bands were like, back then, they were like fucking tanks, weren't they? Yeah, that's very true. So you'd have probably heard him, you're more likely, you know, a farmer would have more likely have heard him than seen them um, back then, isn't it? Vehicles completely different. I feel nice now. I feel nice. Nice and stone today. So yeah, this has just gone off a little bit. Don't mean to bring the sort of the, the Mary stuff and the paranormal stuff on this channel, but I just think, you know, I was coming out for a smoke any day anyway, and I just, I value your guys' opinions. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, the paranormal and all that sort of thing, and maybe what I'm doing is not what, you know, you're into. But for me, it's a personal thing. I'm a Gloucester lad, born and bred. We've been, we've grown up with this story of this young, young girl who'd gone missing from the bus stop, you know, at 15 years old, man. 
And it's, it's stuck with a lot of us, to be fair. It's stuck with a lot of us. It's a lot of the time, it's the horror stories that our parents would tell us um, that people were gonna get us if we'd go off. And, you know, they were talking about Fred West. You know, you lot may not have out there been, had those same discussions as us, but I remember having loads of conversations with my parents when we were out places like, don't talk to strangers, don't do, you know what I mean? And it was just like, because it went on around Gloucester more than anywhere else. It really did. I'm not saying murders don't go on elsewhere, but my God, Fred took a lot of people off the streets, a lot of people, and they reckon up to, maybe up to a hundred, hundred victims, yeah? That's a hundred children being taken off the street. Women and children, basically, isn't it? Yeah. So a lot of people gone missing. Hmm. Can't beat a bit of cup of tea. Rosie Lee, all the way, people. But let us know what you think. It's really, really important, peeps. We need participation more than any other video I've ever done. And um, I will go back on subject to obviously smoking CBD and weed and stuff like that. So watch this space, peeps, all right? But yeah, I'll do one more pan round just so you can see one more time. Yeah, we literally are in the middle. In the middle of freaking nowhere, people. Wave Ninja! She's beautiful, ain't she, peeps, eh? We're going to take a little walk over here in a minute and just have a look at this um, path along this gate. And also I'm going to go around here and show, show Ninja another bit where, where there's another area he may have done, but it doesn't fit the profile. This is the only area up till now that fits the actual profile of what we're doing. So yeah, interesting people. But listen, thanks for watching. The next video that you see um, will be a CBD video, all right? So um, hopefully, like you say, look out for that, hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys? Peace, one love. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Cheers, guys. One love.